On this episode of Micromatic, I've got five minutes to teach you about focal length. So now one of the hard things about getting into photography and really getting into anything that's super nerdy like photography is all the jargon. There's all kinds of stupid jargon that you kind of have to learn. It's almost like this barrier before you can fully immerse yourself in the field. You have to learn the jargon, all right? And in photography, there's a lot of things that I can explain. Uh, but right now, today I wanna to talk about focal length and what focal length means. So now, focal length is a measurement, usually in millimeters, uh, that's relevant to your lens, okay? So you might have a lens that is a 25 millimeter lens. You might have a lens that's a 35 millimeter lens, and you might have a lens that's 300 millimeters. All these millimeters measure some specific in the optics of each lens. And it's not really important to know exactly what those millimeters mean uh, in terms of that measurement. What does matter though, is understanding how different millimeters and different focal lengths affect your images. This is a 12 millimeter lens. And this is a 45 millimeter lens. You know, they kind of look the same side by side, but each lens will give you a very, very different field of view. And rather than try and explain what field of view is, I'm gonna show you. Uh, what I did was yesterday, I went out to one of my favorite spots, set up the camera on a tripod, and without changing any of the settings, so I set the settings exactly the same for each lens, I tried on each different lens, pointing at exactly the same scene. And so now, as I go through these clips, you're gonna be able to see how a 12 millimeter field of view changes and differs from a 25 millimeter field of view. Uh, and I go all the way up from 12 millimeters to 150 millimeters, uh, which this bad boy can do. So you're gonna see exactly what these millimeters mean. Uh, and maybe for a closer frame of reference, most people are very familiar with shooting with an iPhone or a smartphone camera. Um, and those don't all have exactly the same focal length, but in terms of micro four thirds, they're generally equivalent to about a 17 millimeter focal length, okay? So if you take a 17 millimeter lens and you put it on your micro four thirds camera, you're gonna get roughly the same field of view that you would get on an iPhone. Uh, and that's you know a good starting point, a good frame of reference. So now for this focal length comparison, I've used multiple lenses. Uh, and in these clips that are coming up, I want you to not pay attention to the quality of the image. Pay attention to the framing of the image because that's where, that's what I wanna teach here, right? Is the focal length, not necessarily that one lens is better than the other, which you might be able to notice in these clips, but again, not super important right now. What is important is that you understand that as you go from a wide angle lens to a long telephoto lens, uh, the effect that that has on your image. So there you have it. In five minutes, you've learned all about camera focal lengths. Uh, take this knowledge with you as you watch future episodes of Micromatic, uh, because I'm gonna kind of take it for granted that you understand what focal length is. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, maybe hit the like button down below, share the video with a friend, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Micromatic.